I'm Megan. I'm Sierra. And I'm Maggie. And, and we're, we're from, from the Cheernastics 2. Too. And welcome to TC Tuesday. So today we're going to be doing Cheerleader Tries Gymnastics. So Maggie's going to be attempting all sorts of different things on bars, beam, and floor, and just going to be doing skills that usually she's not going to be doing when she's at cheer. Also, this video is in no way meant to like say that one sport's harder than the other. This is just for fun because we figured, you know, we can try to see if Maggie can do some of this stuff. Maybe she can, maybe she can't. And while we think it would be cool to try, like, gymnasts try cheerleading, me and Megan already do cheer, so it wouldn't really be that interesting. Also, if my skills are not perfect, it's because I've never tried them before, and it's my first time, and I'm trying my best. Yeah, they're all brand new to her, so this is just for fun, and enjoy it laughing at all these attempts. So, let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to have Maggie try to do a pullover. So, Maggie, you're going to grab onto the bar. Okay, and then what leg is your good leg? Okay, so you're going to step right, left, and then swing up with your right leg. Right, left, swing. Yeah. Okay, and then you're going to push off your left leg, and then when your legs are in the air, you're going to join them together. Pike around the bar, and then just up. That was close. <laughs> this time I'll spot you. Good. That's not bad. All right, come down. Okay, try one more. This time, try it by yourself. Pull, pull. Yay! Pull over, check. Okay, next you're going to learn how to do a kip. So you're going to want to put your hands on the bar like that. Make sure that they stay straight. And then you're going to glide in a straddle, so your legs are going to straddle glide. Yep. <laughs> okay. And when they swing all the way out here, you're going to bring your ankles to the bar, and I'll help you. And then you're going to go from here and act like you're pulling your pants up, so that way you end up like this on the bar. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, make sure you have enough momentum so when you keep, just keep going, okay? So, slide. That was the right idea. And now make sure you just straighten your arms out at the end. Ah! <laughs> okay, try one more time. Yes! Stay up! She did it! <laughs> Alright, Maggie's last skill that she's going to learn is going to be a front hip circle. So, hop up on the bar. Okay. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to start like that. You're going to lift yourself up off the bar so that the bar is kind of like mid-thigh. And you're going to like arch kind of forward. And then you're going to lean and kind of like arch your back. And then when you're like 180 with your body, you're going to pike around. Okay? So try it by yourself first. Okay. Not bad. And then you have to get your body on top. So I'll spot you. Come here. Okay, so lift up. Arch. <laughs> Go up. <laughs> I can't. Yes, you can. I'm going to try it by myself. Okay. And we're going. Okay. Okay, by yourself. Pull yourself around, rotate your wrists. Now get on top. Okay, to rotate your wrists, you kind of like we're doing it, but like instead of keeping your wrists here the whole time, you have to re-grip them so that they're on top again. Because then that'll help you get back around. Last time? Yeah, last time, with or without spot. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Come on, Maggie. Rotate. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like spun off the bar. All right, so for Maggie's first floor skill that she's going to learn, it's going to be a Wendy. So, Megan, show us a Wendy. All 
All right, it's kind of like a complicated cartwheel, so we're going to teach her how to do it. So, go ahead and stand right over here like you're starting a cartwheel. Arms up. And instead of like just putting your arms down to the side, you're going to have your far arm, like your opposite arm from your good leg, reach all the way around to a 180. Because then you're going to like move your body into a handstand from there. Facing so. the other way. So Megan, kind of show her again. Here, stop me in like a handstand position, like when I make the transition. Okay, this arm is going to reach all the way across, and then as soon as you're turned all the way into 180, this arm goes down like a handstand. So this arm is going to kind of turn 180, and that arm goes along next to it, so it's just a handstand facing that way. And then you step down like a handstand. Okay. You got a spot the first time? No? Try it. Okay. I Reach all the way around. Hey, that was pretty good. Did she step down with the wrong leg first? Try again. She's a righty. I don't know. No, that's it. Woo! Wendy didn't complete. Even didn't even need spot. The next skill we're going to show Maggie how to do is a back walkover. And I know a lot of people are probably like, what, shouldn't she already know how to do a back walkover? But Maggie, explain yourself. Okay, so when I first started cheer, I got put on a level 2 team, and when you're on level 2, they want you to have back handsprings, because at that time, someone had just quit, and they put me on level 2, and it was like a month, it was like a week before competition, so they were rushing me to get my back handspring, and, and they so I over the back walkover. I just started learning back handsprings right when I came, and... So she never learned how to like, do a back walkover. I know how to do one, they just scare me. A lot. <laughs> All right, so we're going to show Maggie how to do it. She can't do a backbend kick over, though, so. Okay, right. so leg in front, and she can do that part. The hard part is going back into a backbend on one foot. Oh, God, okay. All right, we're probably going to have to spot her on these. So, good leg in front. <laughs> okay. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like those. All right, can we move on to one spot? Yeah. Okay, now Sierra's only going to be spotting. <laughs> I get scared. I have to put my leg down. Okay, ready. Go back. Look it to the ground. Confident. Push. Good. Want to try it by yourself or just a back spot? Uh, just back spot? Make sure you lift your foot off. There you go. Keep going. <laughs> you can do it! Keep going. You touch. <laughs> Alright. I think, good. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Good effort. Oh, good effort. The next skill that we're going to show Maggie how to do is an aerial because if you didn't know, cheerleaders don't do aerials. Whoa. Learn something new every day. So, Megan, go ahead and show an aerial. Good, AKA cartwheel with no hands, if you didn't know. All right, so Maggie, you can already do a cartwheel, right? Yeah, all right. So Megan, teach her how to do it. Okay, when you're running, you're going to hurdle, just like a round off or something. And it's exactly like a cartwheel, but you're going to have to get a lot more power and momentum. Your arms need to circle through and pull up. And then don't touch your hands to the ground. Also, you should start that way since there's a hill going down. Okay. All right, do you want Megan to spot you? No. No spot? Oh, I hate spots. Just try keeping your hands off the ground. Oh, gosh, okay. I have to put them down. I'm going to fall on my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll try. Wait till I count to two. Okay. One, two. Here, let's do a car wheel, but, like, Megan's going to lift up your hips. So which face this way. We're just gonna have you go through it. Like this? So. Oh god. I hate spots. Push. 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 Don't you have here. to put some effort in. I hate spots, okay. Act like you're doing an aerial. Yeah! I put a hand down. Yeah, but like barely. Now do it without putting your hands down. 
little more effort. Ready? Ah, you don't put your hand down. I'm gonna put my hand down. Get a little hurt on this. Can you grab me? Yeah. I have to. No, you don't. Okay, I won't. Okay, one more. Just don't put your hands down, and then we'll call it good. The first thing that we're going to show Megan how to do on beam is a cartwheel. All right, Megan, show a cartwheel. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. You're basically going to just do a cartwheel on the beam. The hardest thing to figure out is like the hand positions. So let me guess. Let me guess. What I like to do is I like to use my index finger as like a measuring, measuring balancing kind of <laughs> mechanism type thing because I put my hand down where it's like my all my fingers are grabbing the beam except for my index finger because that just like helps me like balance on it and I can like I don't know it's just what I do so then I, that's how I put my first hand and then my second hand just kind of goes and grabs the beam like that and then when you're like in the air you want to turn your whole body so that it just steps down we're gonna spike. Spot you, so you'll be just crazy. You'll be I just. I not even stand on the beam. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm scared. I'm scared. You got Wait, it. This is really high. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I can't. You can do it. <laughs> I go. I'm so scared. <laughs> Put your foot on the beam. <laughs> <laughs> you had a, your feet were on the beam too. So scary. Try again. Oh my. First time's always the worst. Okay, ready? Now Maggie's like, I got it. Now you just, you can do this. <laughs> but put your foot on the beam. Put your other foot on the beam. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to stand up. I promise. <laughs> okay, there she goes. She did it. Okay, let's do one more, Maggie. Make the ending a little better. Put other foot. <laughs> Put your other foot on the beam. <laughs> you're just like, you got it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Let's try to get this video to 10,000 likes. That's a lot. That's a challenge. That's a challenge. But if you, know you have not, if you have not liked this video, like it right now. Right it's now. really easy. All you have to do is press a button, and you can be one of those 10,000 people. That would really help us out a lot, and it'd be super cool. So make sure you come back to our channel on Flipping Friday for another video. And, and also subscribe to our channel because then it'll show exactly when we post our new video and you can be one of the first views. So thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.